Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. We have an amazing week for you this week. If you guys haven't been following along, we've been building a monster sized 20 foot B-17. Now with the weather finally getting warmer, we are gonna be able to get some major flying in and also test out a new aerial laser tag system. Along with that, we have a lot of engineering to do. We're gonna be designing FPV pods and also working on a new design for you guys ultimately to be able to build. We got a lot of fun in store. Let's get started. So um, this is the uh, laser tag setup from Mateo. In putting this on different planes and stuff, do you want me to actually make like a little carriage that holds all of yeah, it together? Yeah, you could make a real nice, you know, capsule or something to hold it. That'd be perfect. Uh, these are gonna ultimately be going on uh, like the FW190 we have, uh, BF109. So if we can just take them and pop them from plane to plane, you know, after we test it, we'll be able to just take that right to the final thing. So perfect. I love it. Yeah, huge shout out to uh, FPV Combat is the name yeah. of the board. Well, man, thank you. That's going to be perfect. And uh, if it fits good enough and it's modular, that'll be perfect for the community to be able to use. I'll get to design it. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So while Dave's working on that here, uh, you guys probably been wondering what in the world is going on with this big black cube here. This is our FTCA uh, sponsors wall or supporters wall. And if you guys don't know what FTCA is, it's the Flight Test Community Association. Uh, that is our non for profit that basically is advocating for the hobby. We go to DC. I'm on different FAA task groups. And we're just truly really trying to make sure that the hobby is easy to approach, easy to enjoy uh, without jumping through any hurdles. Uh, basically, there's a lot of amazing companies that are coming up and saying, we believe in what the FTC is doing. We want to advocate for the hobby and support you. Those people are going to be on this wall along with the FTCA logo. So I just took some maker foam and glue them together. Going to put some paint on there and we're going to build some, uh, build some signs. You want to be in the make-believe airplane? <laughs> sure, I'll be the make-believe airplane. Oh, that looks incredible. <laughs> so the really cool thing about this laser tag system uh, compared to the other one that we did is it actually has an on-screen display. So that means you can see all the data. You can see when you hit the button, it'll actually fire the little bullets. And you have a, a way to line up on the uh, screen, which is really difficult when we did the ME262 through the Mustang. Right, yeah. Um, we were actually trying to come up with a way of doing it and just, you know, like basically like gluing crosshairs in front of the camera. Yeah. <laughs> It worked, but it wasn't, what isn't this cool? All right, so basically if I'm flying and I line up on you and I hit you. <laughs> and it shows a hit on my screen. And it shows a hit. <laughs> Are your gears gonna be able to hold up against this? Yeah, yeah, I, I put it on the uh, side to side one because it's a little bit smoother. The other yeah. one's pretty violent. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Now in this room, one difficult thing is because this signal can bounce around, I could actually point this over here. And I can hit him. So we gotta keep that in mind, but that was the exact same way it was. When we're outside and have a little bit more distance, it's much more directional because it's not bouncing around on things. So if you guys are new to flight tests, we got our first experience with laser tag probably about eight months ago. Um, yeah, yeah, it was about eight months ago when we did the uh, ME. ME 262 versus Chuck Yeager's Glamorous Glen 3. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to recreate, you know, Chuck Yeager battling up against the ME 262. Basically what we wanted to do is not only have uh, laser tag, but we also wanted to have pyrotechnics. Now back then, we didn't have what Mateo had, which was the pyrotechnics for it. We had to come up with that ourselves. Yeah, and uh, we ran into quite a few problems doing so, but we finally made it happen. It was definitely sketchy. We had relays, we had a lot of weird tech in there, and a huge shout out to Alex Screen because he helped us through all of it. Uh, but what Mateo has done here is he's combined all that into one. So our goal with the B-17 is this. We want to basically have this as something that can make memories. So imagine we have our FW-190, we have our BF-109. We're going to drop a laser tag module, much like what you see here on that airplane. And what they'll be able to do is go up after the B-17 and then all the different community members that are in the different turrets and the different gun sites will be able to shoot at them. The only difference is, is instead of having the sensors where the gun turrets are, we're going to put those on the main motors. So the FW-190, the ME-262 possibly, the BF-109, they're going to be shooting towards the motors, which was typically the main target area, right? Yeah, yeah, they, they needed to protect their plane. That's what yeah. the point of all the gunners were in the place. We're not going to be blowing this airplane apart much like what we did with the ME-262. We want this to be a full-blown setup we can take with us to events like Flight Fest here out at Edgewater and give that experience to many different people. But at the end of the day, you're going to have about six different people uh, involved in this besides the pilot themselves. So imagine each gunner is going to have a uh, transmitter. We're going to have two airplanes going after it. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, it's going to be an awesome time. 
What we're going to be doing now is putting this to the test. We have Jason McQuiston's uh, Fokker D7. That's going to be a new release that we're going to be coming out with in the very near future. Uh, the neat thing about laser tag is slow planes oftentimes give you the best experience. I'm going to put this in the D7. Uh, maybe we're breaking the rules a little bit, but we're going to set this up. I, one of us is going to pilot the D7, one's going to pilot right, this. Yeah, right? it'll be uh, kind of like a bombing run for you, I guess, and I'll be trying to defend the base. Exactly. We should just make like a foam board little uh, <laughs> a bunker, you know what yeah, I mean? There we and go. Put the turret on top of it. Uh, but what we'll be doing here is putting it to the test outside in broad daylight like just to make sure everything works and then from that we'll move on to the next step which will be air to air battle we got work to do yeah let's do it so we've been working on a special new design that i cannot wait to share with you guys from our good friend jason mcquiston this is my computer here all of the planes that we design oftentimes pass through this computer and also goes everywhere i go now because of that security is incredibly important to us and that's why we're also very thankful to have great partners like nordvpn nordvpn offers not only amazing protection but also easy protection and simple with one click you can connect or you can even set up auto connect where you're simply protected the moment you go onto your computer NordVPN also adapts to you, so as you travel to different locations, you can have protection from over 5,400 different servers in 60 different countries. Now, if you're traveling as a family, maybe even to Edgewater Air Park here, you can have up to six different devices on every major platform. That means you can protect your PC or even your iPad. And NordVPN has not only been an amazing supporter of flight tests and a sponsor, but they also love to give back. Now, when you go to nordvpn.com slash flight test, you're gonna be able to get a two-year plan with an additional month at a huge discount. And also, there's no risk because you have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So feel free to check out the link down below, get your savings, and also, we're ready to put this laser tag module on, an amazing new airplane that you guys are gonna get to be able to build once it's finished designing, and that's from our good friend, Jason McQuiston. Now, Jason oftentimes in podcasts is what we refer to as the laser master. He himself can run up to 11 lasers. He is the person behind all the manufacturing now, running the lasers and making kits for you guys. Also, he's an amazing designer, an amazing builder, and also an amazing pilot. This is his indoor Fokker D7, and he's given us permission to basically use this as a pattern to be able to create another version that can be flown outside. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to put the laser tag module on it. This is designed specifically for indoor, so any kind of wind is going to bump it around crazy. But the version we're going to design off of this plane is going to be a plane pretty much the same size that can be flown outside in wind. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be binding this up with my Radio Master. We're going to take it out and we'll be ready to fly. So I'm just kind of seizing a couple minutes here before we go out and fly and hanging up our partner's wall here. And if you guys don't know, we have amazing partners here and many more coming on board that we have a long time relationship with. Our partners going up on the wall today are our friends of Pilot Institute, Get FPV, FPV Freedom Coalition, and also Power Up. All these partners play a huge role in it, whether it's like Pilot Institute taking you from recreational pilot and helping you grow in your skills through their online courses, or FPV Freedom Coalition that's doing much of what the same of FTCA is and making sure that FPV is protected and advocated for as well. As you know, Power Up's been a major part of flight tests, making sure people get in the hobby in an approachable and affordable manner. And Get FPV has a great line of multi-rotor and drone products. There's gonna be a lot more partners coming up on this wall and thank you guys also for your support here. FTCA is growing quickly, but also making sure that there are programs that can help you guys get people into the hobby and get all the incredible benefits that flight has to offer. I'm gonna get this signed up and we got a plan to fly. All right, so we just finished test flying the D7 with all the FPV gear on. Everything's balanced perfectly. Now, a special thing is Dave is not shooting this time. We have our good friend Lee. We're going to build him behind the goggles for the first time. He's going to be our ground air. Yeah, he's got a little bit of aggression. He's got to take out, so. This Might is a good way to do it. Out. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> It's like real life. Josh got a backwards hat on. I know. Right now. We're, we're, we're serious now. <laughs> <laughs> got him. We set up out here at Readyboard Build Pavilion. Readyboard not only sponsors the runway, but they're also responsible for the pavilion behind us here and the fire pit. So, you know, it's a nice spring day here. It's getting warmer. We don't want to walk out the runway. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll set ourselves up to be able to fly. This is the bunker. We'll be able to strafe it and then go away. I think it's going to be cool. Sweet. Look at that little bunker they made. That's awesome. Isn't that great? That's so good. What you got going on here, dude? Setting up some uh, tur turret cams. Turret cams, bro. Turret cams, I think is the best way to what put it. What you using? Using, using these little... awesome little Insta360 go-tos. Sick, look at these. They got their own little, uh, little tripod bases. On them. Look at that. <laughs> That's sick. Hey, Lee, how you feeling about this, bro? You feel like you're gonna get them? Dude, um, I would much rather, I would much prefer a shoulder rifle here but i think it's gonna be all right you think you feeling good about it uh, i don't know we'll see all right let's pop a squat and uh get this battle underway all right let's do it this is really trippy guys because uh it's it's a very historically accurate view i got the wing above me 
the nose of the fuselage, the guns on both sides, and I got like a circle that I can see, <laughs> like this. Really? That's yeah. sick. Are you scared? We, we had to make it rough no. on you, Josh. <laughs> All right, so Josh is the airplane pilot. Yes. And uh, Mr. Lee Kackner is the turret. And then we got our uh, lovely Michael Bixler chasing the uh, airplane. Ooh, the quad guy. Perfect. All right. All right, guys, I want a good clean fight. No hit below the belt. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's do it. Have fun, y'all. Oh, my goodness. You get so slow. This is ridiculously awesome. I'm just feeling this out the first time around, but yeah, here we go. Yeah, the wind did switch direction again. How slow are you going? Bunker. That's awesome. Any hits? Yes, hit. Yes, I got you. Yeah. Oh. I didn't get you. No. That was like dead on you. <laughs> I think it's the angle of you were coming. Lee, you're about to get hosed, bro. <laughs> or is he gonna hose him? Oh! Oh, oh, my, oh, my, oh my goodness! <laughs> I thought you were gonna go. That was ridiculous. That was great. I, I was getting all cocky and shooting at it. What are you at, Lee? I'm at nine. I'm at nine. Oh, I missed you. One to oh, one. He got you. Yeah, he, he got did. you. Yeah, but I've only got like 16 rounds left. <laughs> <laughs> so because of the field of view is so narrow, I gotta go by like um, a landscape, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah. So I go down towards the pine trees, and then I see the pine trees, and I see my favorite telephone pole that everybody hits. <laughs> and then I hang right, and then I find the bridge. And then after I find the bridge, once I get over the creek, then I start my approach. And the turbulence right here is pretty nuts, and this plane is designed to be flown indoors. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get you, did I? Nope. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm lined right up on you, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> He's out of rounds. Out. He's out of rounds. Oh, he's a sitting duck. You know what? Sitting duck. It's duck season. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think it is? It's, I think it's because I'm going in so low. You can't get my belly sensor. I'm hit. I know that, like, if, once you we look at this footage, you, you can see that I'm on you. Now my friend Jason did warn me, he said this is indoor so you can fold the wings. So what do we do? We loaded up a ton of tech. Reset me. Reset me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I'll land here in a second. Let, let me just give a little bit more love to my friend Lee. Ooh, Lee, come here. Oh, I'm under the you. power line. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> We're right in between them. I'm telling you. I would have had you. <laughs> so we're going to be testing out this. I, I think this is a success. So next week we're going to start experimenting with the pyrotechnics board. And what? that's where we can put smoke, we can put mortars, we can do a bunch of cool stuff that was really complicated in the past. And I'm excited about that. Well, why is it a success? Just because you win? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. Should I just come in for a landing, guys, since obviously I'm the clear winner? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> so low and slow. Oh, I love this. Oh, Great my job, goodness. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Lee, no hard feelings, okay? <laughs> We're going to give Lee another chance here, but it's going to be when there's a B-17 flying around this 20 foot. Again, the whole goal of this is to test out the individual systems. At the end of the day, that ball turret is going on the bottom of our 20 foot B-17, and instead of a super slow, uh, awesome Fokker D-7, it's going to be a BF-109. It's going to be a Fokker F-190 uh, with community members flying, trying to shoot down the B-17. So make sure you hit that subscribe bell because next week we're stepping up with pyrotechnics. Boom booms. See you next time. <laughs> I didn't know where you wanted to go. <laughs> boom booms. <laughs> boom booms. <laughs>